What's up guys, Jaden Sports, back with another video, and today we have a very cool announcement because this is a review of the LEGO set I just got today, the 501st Legion Clone Troopers set, set number 75280, uh, 285 pieces, $30, I got it at my local Target today, I've been like searching for it. For a long time it finally released in some places in the u.s august 1st then didn't release near me and then i've just been like you know looking for it looking for it and finally today um found it online for target it was a very stressful process to actually obtain the set but i finally got it so let's go let's do the time lapse of the build and get into the review and my thoughts so first up quick overview this is 285 pieces $30. It's decent price per piece uh, value. The real value though is in the minifigures. These four here. It's nice it comes with these two, but these are really what it's mainly for. The 501st Jet Trooper and mainly the 501st Clone Troopers. Three of them in this set. New look also for the 2021. On the back you can see a nice view of the Bark Speeder with its stud shooters. And you can see the uh, ATRT with moving legs and a stud shooter up front. So, oh, looks pretty cool. Let's open it up. Okay, so you see here we have a few bags that comes with two bags with uh, some bags for the smaller pieces inside. Got the instruction booklet, looks pretty clean, and then the back it shows some of the other summer 2020 wave sets, that's this one, and some other sets from earlier this year. Um, it is 76 pages of instruction, so let's get right into it. So right off the bat, we have two of the 501st Legion clone troopers in the first bag. You can see the new design, also with a new clone head. It does not come with the old angry clone face, as some people call it. It's now a different a darker skin tone, maybe more accurate to the original Django Fett from Attack of the Clones. Pretty cool minifigures and starting off strong. so far. We have two of the 501st Legion clone troopers, the two battle droids, and the bark speeder. Let's take a look at it. So the bark speeder up front has two stud shooters, and back here it has room to hold two extra blasters, which something cool actually is that they're in addition to these blasters. The troopers all come with blasters, and you can see on there, they all have blasters. Plus, on there, there's two extra ones. So that's a bonus of this set, is extra pieces actually are some blasters. So you can use those for other troopers you've gotten from battle packs, if you don't like the stud shooter look. Or just have extras for your new troopers. It has an interesting handlebar mechanism. I haven't really seen this look before. It's kind of cool though, these can turn like that as if you're pushing the handle forward like you see on some speeders in the Clone Wars and real movies. They can move 
back and forth. And then obviously you can fit a minifigure right here. It can sit down comfortably and bark speeder externally. Looks pretty nice. It has a couple like those old ski pieces here on the side. And it's actually really long. It's long compared to the troopers. It's a pretty big speeder build. I think maybe if they had made it like this long, it would have been better. They'd made it a little shorter, but it looks pretty good. Now on to bag two. <laughs> of this set which each came in bag two. One is another 501st Legion clone trooper sporting the same new updated look with like printing a new helmet and white arms as compared to the 2013 version. This one has a blaster rifle with a piece on the end. It's actually a new looking piece and here is the 501st jet trooper sporting a different helmet and different torso with blue arms. It also has a blue jetpack on the back, similar to some old Mandalorian ones, like with Boba Fett. Comes with a standard blaster, and yeah, looks pretty cool. On to the build. Here we go, it is finished. The 501st Legion Clone Troopers set. I finished building it and I gotta say it looks pretty good. I'm pumped about these minifigures, the new 501st Legion Clone Troopers. And speaking of how they're new, this is the uh, 501st Trooper from the 2013 ATRT. So you can see the difference in the helmet is um, this, the newer one kind of looks 3D on the sides, you can tell. And it has slightly different printing, but it's pretty similar. The little mouth thing um, is slightly different, the slope. Then on the body, you can see that the torso is slightly similar, but the biggest difference has got to be the blue arms versus the white arms. The old one, it doesn't look bad. It's, whoops, it's not bad as a 501st Trooper. I mean, I like it. Pretty cool. But I gotta say, the new one just looks excellent. Then you can see the Bark Speeder and the two other 501st Legion Clone Troopers, as well as the 501st Jet Trooper. The two Battle Droids. And the ATRT. Speaking of the ATRT, let's take a look at it. So it's got the stud shooter cannon at the front, which kind of, which has a ball joint similar to an ATDP kind of look. So it can move around like that. You can pose the cannon. Um, you can put one of your minifigures up here, and it has these handlebars which don't come off as easily as past versions. So that's nice. It's got some storage compartments in the background or sorry, the back of the vehicle, those being for binoculars, and then you could put like a blaster on this clip. The legs move nicely, and you can also move the feet joints, and this you can move. There's all types of joints. Then you got the sticker pieces up front, which I'm not extra fond of stickers, but they included 10 stickers in this thing. You can see them on the legs, especially up front. This was the only printed piece, that being the control panel. I would have liked to see more printed pieces rather than having to put on a bunch of stickers. You can see I did find on some like this one, pretty straight. Didn't do as well on others like that one. Pretty cool ATRT. Now let's compare it to the 2013 version. So at a glance, there's not a huge difference between the two. You can see this one is bulkier up here and has a different cannon. Um, the toe flaps for the feet are 
slightly different. The coloring is a little bit different, but there's not a humongous difference, especially in size. They're pretty similar. You can see they're about the same size. They have the same type of leg function as the older version. The older version has a different handlebar thing and it doesn't have a control panel like the newer one does. The front of this new one has stickers and you can move these. The older one actually, it has some stickers and some printed pieces. You can see right here there's a sticker for the 501 and you can definitely see the difference between this front and this front. Spokier, it's got more pieces than this. This is kind of a thinner version because this set also came with the Bark Speeder. These move also pretty similar around back. There are no clips, whereas in the 2020 version, there are some clips holding the binoculars and a blaster. This, you can see these pieces supposed to be like joints, but they're not connected to anything. Neither are the new ones right here, but they're held in place by this bar in the front. The stud shooter cannon is just attached like I showed earlier in the ball joint so it can move. This one cannot move up and down but it is a longer turret versus the stud shooter. Some people might not like the stud shooter look and they might change. They might like stick this cannon onto here. Maybe you could like mod it. This cannon swivels from side to side like so but does not move up and down. This with the ball joint can move in pretty much any direction. So yeah, that's the comparison and pretty similar. I will say I do like the older version um, having a little bit bulkier up front. The newer version just looks kind of skinnier. Maybe if you push these out and maybe add it a little bit, you could make the front look a little bit better, but it actually isn't bad. It's a nice compact version. I do like the clips on the back and the new cockpit area. The stud shooter cannon, not my favorite, but I do like the ball joint as compared to this. Pretty cool. Then again, we'll show the trooper comparison. Pretty nice. So overall, my thoughts on the 501st Legion clone troopers set. Great set for the $30 price tag. I really like it. Uh, $30 is kind of expensive for just three Fiber First Troopers, but it's more than when you've ever gotten a, in a set before. The Bark Speeder is a little bit long. Um, seems slightly oversized compared to minifigures, but it's not bad. I do like the extra clip holders for the blasters. The new handlebar mechanism is nice, looks good. Stud shooters up front are a nice addition as well. ATRT has a nice cannon with the swivel joint. Um, control panel and the cockpit is nice. Clips on the rear end. Legs, just like with the old one, they move just fine. There's no problems with that. The only thing is it can't move forward because of this, just the way it's built, but same for the old one. So, looks pretty cool, but the minifigures is really what you're kind of getting the set for. And in that department, um, it's great. The 501st Trooper, the updated version, looks great. Um, no printing really on the back besides the torso, but you don't really look at the back. The front and the new helmet are probably the main points, as well as the white arms, which are more accurate. Some people might not like it, but I think it looks better with the white arms. They're more accurate to the films and Clone Wars. The Jet Trooper is a nice addition to the set. Comes with a different helmet with red markings as a Jet Trooper. Different torso. It has blue arms, similar to the 2013 Fiber First Trooper. Uh, it has a nice jetpack in the back. Then you have your two battle droids, so as you're getting 501st Troopers, you also get Battle Droids to battle with. Those are my thoughts on the 501st Legion Clone Troopers set. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If 
you did, smash that like button, subscribe, and click on my channel icon or check the description for other videos. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.